Francisco Goya. The 3rd of May 1808. Created in 1814, the 3rd of May stands proudly within the Prado Museum in Madrid. The painting depicts the brutal execution of Spanish civilians by French soldiers during the Peninsula War. The Peninsula War was a conflict that took place from 1807 to 1814, during which Napoleon Bonaparte's French forces invaded and occupied Spain. The painting specifically portrays the events of May 3, 1808, when the French army carried out a mass execution of Spanish citizens in retaliation for an uprising against their rule in Madrid. Noteworthy for its time, this masterpiece heralds a new era in art, pioneering a distinct artistic conception. Unprecedentedly, the painter presents the defeated in the same way as the victors. These innocent individuals, who were captured by chance and executed without due process, are now acknowledged as witnesses to the harrowing event. At the center of the painting, a man stands with his arms outstretched, reminiscent of Christ on the cross, casting an innocent gaze upon his executioners. The central figure, bathed in a bright, almost divine light, captivates the viewer with his luminous white shirt, symbolizing his innocence, while his yellow pants are illuminated by the radiant glow of a lantern nearby. Surrounding him are other victims, both dead and dying, sprawled across the ground. The executioners themselves appear mechanical, entirely detached from the suffering of their victims. Goya's masterful use of light and shadow, along with his bold brushwork, contributes to the emotional impact of the painting. The artist captures the horror and anguish of the event, highlighting the individual suffering and collective tragedy that war inflicts upon innocent people. The 3rd of May 1808 is often considered a testament to the brutality of war and a condemnation of violence and oppression. Intense emotions, the anguish of the condemned, expressions of despair, the evocative nocturnal lighting, and vibrant colors, all these elements embody the characteristics of Baroque art. Within this composition, they flawlessly harmonize with the aspirations of Romanticism in painting, creating a captivating union of styles.